Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're at the park with the uh, Emax Nighthawk 280 Pro racing quadcopter and I'm gonna do a test flight. This is the finally the test flight video where I'm gonna do line of sight test flight as well as uh, show some FPV camera on board. Wasn't able to get that um, application working on my phone to actually capture my in-goggle FPV but this will give you a good idea the onboard high def cam this run cam here of how it does so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start this thing up and do a line of sight first again this is all stock settings this flight I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the back LED just by flipping the switch here so that's on let's get the camera on all right let's see how it does so arming both sticks up to the top pushing to the bottom right the props do spin when it's armed and let's try it out well wow, real smooth this one nice and smooth real nice smooth hover hover so I'm going to fly, this is self-leveling mode, with this switch all the way up to the top. I'm going to fly just a little bit in self-leveling. So that's full pitch, full yawn pitch. It's got a pretty high angle. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how this thing uh, punches, so let's give it a punch straight up. A little bit sluggish. I am on 4S. So let's see, if we switch into the 2 position, let's see if we can do flips. This is kind of the um, ratitude mode. It's half self-leveling, half um, full rate mode. So let's see if it, it'll flip in this. Yep. Okay, so this is like the self-leveling mode, but it can also do flips. So you let off the sticks, it'll self-level, but if you do want to do flips... Nice. So flips pretty good. It's a little bit sluggish with these um, out-of-the-box stock settings, especially compared to the um, Speedix 250X, but it's still fun. Let me go ahead and switch into full rate mode just by clicking down on this one. So this is full manual rate mode and I want to see how this thing flips in this mode. The yaw seems about the same. Yeah, so the... So the... Um, the pitch and roll seem the same as in the self-leveling mode. So I'll probably be adjusting that and tuning that a little bit um, eventually probably not right away but if I do start racing with this one which I will I'll definitely be adjusting those settings Whew. okay so I'm in full rate that's why it's a little bit squirrely it's a little different a little tough in line of sight to do um, full rate mode. But you can see that LED, it's really bright, really easy to see the back of it if you are flying line of sight. All right, so flips well, it's just a little slow. Especially if you're gonna be flipping and racing, I'm gonna wanna speed that up. So I'm gonna switch back into middle mode which is the self-leveling mode with flip ability seems to be doing really well so you just want to be careful in this mode if you do push the stick all the way forward it will flip or to the side so if you are too low just want to be careful so 
So far, so good though. Woo! All right, see, so I got in trouble there. I wasn't on the throttle enough for a flip and I started going upside down and in this mode, this hybrid mode, I just let off the sticks. Let's test that again. So I'm in trouble, let off the sticks and it will self-level. So really good, good mode to have if you're just kind of learning and uh, you don't really know how to flip too good. Just don't be flipping low on this one, otherwise you'll probably hit the ground by accident. So there's the yaw rate. This is the yaw all the way around, basically in all the modes. Seems to see the same, stay the same in um, warnings a little better on the beeping but it seemed to uh, this is kind of a lower C I think this is a 25 C rated battery so you notice it was beeping when I was punching it that's just below because the voltage was dropping but the battery's still good as long as your individual cells aren't dropping below 3 volts you should be fine all right cool so that was a good line of sight test and I'm uh, going to go ahead and put the goggles on, these goggles here, and go ahead and do a FPV test. See how it does. Hopefully we don't have any major crashing going on. We got the Emacs set up, got the FPV on, powered up, and going to go ahead and do a test flight. So I'm flying FPV goggles right now. So hopefully we don't crash it. Let's see how we do. Okay, so I'm in full self-leveling mode. Oh, there's the sun. Okay. Don't point that way if at all possible. So I'm in a uh, full self-leveling mode. I'm going to switch now into kind of half leveling, half uh, self-leveling, half rate mode. And let's try to do a flip. All right. Way up there. Alright, so just going to try to kind of go around this course here, just around the park. Well, yeah, I'm getting some crazy, um, crazy interference in my goggles. So not sure what's up with this. Maybe it's on 20 watt on the um, transmitter, but it's it's a little tough to uh, to see with this with these lines on the screen here don't really like it so hopefully that's just maybe a, a VTX issue and I can solve that somehow let's try a roll here so there's a roll So just kind of flying around, kind of getting the feel for it. It's definitely pretty docile in its stock settings here. Come around there. Woo! And real quick, I'm just going to go in full rate mode. Just because I don't really know how to fly very good in full rate mode. But let's give it a try. Less. 
as you can see the rolls here are pretty pretty docile and slow whoa where am i okay so you can't really get in too much trouble but if you want to do fast flips it's a little weird when you're flipping with uh, the video on i'm going to switch back to self-leveling now because i'm getting some pretty bad lines in my uh, my video unfortunately all right so i'm going to bring it in i think it's been a couple of minutes and i don't have the beeper on this so come on in real quick so there we are there's the goofy guy trying fpv get close without hitting us <laughs> all right cool so that was a good test all right great so we got a nice uh, park flight with the emax nighthawk 280 pro and uh, unfortunately i was having a little bit of difficulty as you can see in the video with um with the video transmission not sure why um, well, actually, as you could hear in the video, I'm not sure why I was getting these white lines on the screen, but I'll try to um, research that and figure out what the problem was. But um, real docile, as you can see in the video and uh, my commentary, real docile. So going to be definitely um, going back to the bench and doing some, uh, some tweaking of the flight controller to get a little bit uh, faster response from the stick inputs. So anyway, that was a good park test. So we did some line of flight and we did some uh, FPV as well. And it is uh, it is kind of dust now. The sun's going down, so it's probably not the best time to do FPV flight. But nonetheless, had to do it. This is the time I had to do this, and uh, it was definitely fun. So let's go back to the bench and do a final pros and cons on this guy and see how it did.